Hello! Today in this review will be step-by-step -step instruction how to set up a proxy in the Proxy Switch Omega extension for Google Chrome. The Proxy Switch Omega extension provides an easy and quick way to add and switch proxies in the Google Chrome browser. Proxy Switch Omega is installing in couple clicks and after setting it works automatically according to the specified rules. And today I will show you how to do it. But before we start, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss updates with useful reviews. Let's start. Go to the extension store in the Chrome browser and find the Proxy Switch Omega extension. Install it. Immediately after installing the extension, you will be redirected to the working window of the extension. The Switch Omega extension will also appear on the top right in extension bar. Here you need profile section on the left side of the screen. To start working with the proxy, you need to set up a new profile. To do this, click on New Profile. In the window that opens at the top in the Profile Name field, enter the name of the profile. Below you need to select Profile Type. By default the proxy profile is selected, which allows you to work with single specified proxies. If you select Switch Profile, then you can set and use proxies under different conditions. But today in this review we will not consider this item, because it is for more advanced proxy users who work with multi-accounts and it is necessary to use different proxies for different platforms. We will consider the standard proxy settings with which the proxy will be used for all resources that need to be used. Select Proxy Profile and click Create. In Profiles you have a created profile. Click on it. In the Proxy Server section click Show Advanced. Here you can select the protocols for which you set the proxy. By default HTTP, HTTPS, SUX4 and SUX5. Select the protocol type, for example HTTP, and on the right in the server field enter the IP of your proxy, and in the port field enter the proxy port. If you have a public proxy, then you do not need to set anything else. And if it is private, you need to set a login and password. Then click on the lock next to the private port. You will see a window for entering the login and password of the proxy. Enter your username in the first field and enter your password in the second field. When everything is entered, click on Save Changes. As you can see, where the login and password for the personal proxy are entered, the locked changes color into green. Below in the Bypass List field, you can enter resources or IP addresses for which you do not need to use a proxy. Enter as shown in the example. When everything is entered, click Apply Changes on the left. The changes have been applied and you can now use the proxy. In the future, to switch profiles with configured proxies, click on the icon with extension. Select the proxy Switch Omega extension and in the window that opens, select which of the profiles with configured proxy to use. That's all. Setup complete. Now your work in the network will be anonymous and no one will be able to find out your real IP. Good luck and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like. Bye.